guys, welcome back to a new vlog on the channel. Please excuse me while I'm speaking because I am starving. I haven't had any food today yet. I've been really bad at having breakfast lately because I am not hungry in the mornings. I get really like nauseous if I eat. So um, this is my first meal of the day. It's from Chopped. It's a Palm Beach salad from Chopped. And um, it is around noon right now. And today is a Friday. And I'm gonna have my favorite type of Friday today. I am going to deep clean the apartment today. I haven't done that in a long time. And I am going to stay home today and kind of just have like a me day. So I think I talked about this in my previous vlog, but I've been experiencing a lot of anxiety lately. Um, it could be because it's my time of the month. Um, and so my emotions are like elevated and super heightened. But also I've just been feeling a sense of like toxicity that I have been getting from social media not like from anyone in particular. I just feel like every time I go on social media, it just feels so fake. I'm just feeling very kind of worn out from social media, specifically Instagram. I just feel like Instagram is really a hard place for people to be themselves because um, it's kind of like a platform where you try to show the best parts of your life. Granted, there are people out there that will be super candid and honest and like open and unfiltered on Instagram. I try my best to be like that. Um, it's hard sometimes because it's really hard to like give into like the pressures and like the standards for what you think you should be showing on social media, especially when it's like your full time job. So I've just been so like, I don't know. I think I'm just exhausted overall from social media. And also I feel like I'm getting burnt out because um, ever since like the summer, I've just been grinding so hard nonstop with like content. Granted, I love what I do. But I think I'm doing a little bit too much, especially on social media. So last night I decided I want to take a step back, kind of focus on being more present. That's my problem. Is I think sometimes I live too much in this this world of social media and the internet because it's my job. So it's so hard to like separate what's real, what's what's um, my real life, what is reality, and what is you know social media. My reality, I share my reality on the internet. I think I just love YouTube way more than like social media. That's always how I've been. I've always done YouTube. I never used to be on like Instagram that much. I never had a TikTok. Um, I like TikTok and YouTube like mostly. Instagram, I think it's just Instagram. It really is because I just feel like, I don't know. It's just negative vibes every time I go on now. So I told myself I'm gonna take a step back from social media a little bit and not with like posting as in like, I'm gonna stop spending like all my time on Instagram because I probably spend, I'm not gonna lie, like three hours a day either posting or going through content or look, going through my comments, my DMs, like all that stuff, I'm gonna take a step back. And I just realized in general, I need to just be more present and focus on me and my real life. And that's why I love vlogging and that's why I love YouTube because I can be so transparent like this. I'm not comfortable being, being this transparent on Instagram because I just feel like there's too many eyes watching you and judging you. There's a lot of people that don't follow me that look at my stories. It's like a lot of people kind of like watching you. And I feel like on YouTube, maybe it's the same way, but I feel less judged because I feel like, I don't know, I just feel very comforted by you guys, especially when you guys comment like the nice things that you do. I just feel more comfortable on here. So like, I'm not gonna stop vlogging, but I think I'm gonna take a step back from sharing so much on Instagram, just for a few days at least. So that's why I'm excited for today because I'm gonna focus on me and being present and I already started today. I journaled this morning and I haven't journaled in a while. And I, when I say I journaled, I journaled. I wrote like four pages in my notebook and I made a checklist of things I want to start doing and stop doing for my mental health. Let me go get my journal. I'll read some examples for you guys. So I basically was talking in my journal. When I write in my journal, I talk to this person like it's person. <laughs> my journal is a person. I talk to my journal like it's my therapist and it feels so good to get everything out that you're thinking written down and on paper. It's like when you wanna say something to someone but you don't wanna actually say it to them, you just write them a letter and you don't send it, but like it just feels so good getting it out. So basically, basically what I wanted to do was to limit my time on social media and to not check it first thing in the morning, like start my day, the first 30 minutes, not looking at my phone at all. And I started doing that this morning. Instead of checking the weather on my phone, I asked my Alexa um, what the, no, Alexa, stop. She's gonna start saying something. Every time she hears her name, she'll like pipe up. But yeah, I, I like asked, you know, what the weather was instead of checking my phone. And I also told myself instead of checking my phone, because I check my emails religiously, my social media religiously on my phone, instead of doing that, I'm going to like set a designated time at my desk, check it on my desktop so that, because the biggest thing for me is I need to separate life and work and just keep social media and emails in my work hours. And I also wrote down things I want to do more of 
I want to start reading more because I haven't read in a long time. That's like one of my favorite things to do that helps keep me calm and like kind of present. I, I need to cook more. I want to cook more, go on more walks. And I also have on here is to stop like all negative thinking, like and eliminate things that I would see that would bring on negative thinking, you know, whether that be like and following an account on Instagram. So I had this revelation last night, guys. I didn't mean to like, I don't want to spend too much time talking about this. I am so excited to focus on me now and my present life. There's this book called The Power of Now, which I really highly recommend. I read it a few years ago and it was one of the most life-changing books I ever read. I think I want to reread that because it really was so eye-opening and it really just grounds you and makes you realize that you are existing as a human being. You know, I feel like we're sometimes on autopilot with all the responsibilities and the things that we have to do and social media and the internet just creates, it adds more to the autopilot-ness of our life because we're just constantly reading headlines and seeing all these terrible things going on in the world. And we're constantly seeing things on the internet that kind of bring us down and make us question our lifestyle, make us question everything that we're living for. And just, I just want to focus more on my life and what I'm doing. I want to like honestly live my life the way I used to before social media, like before Instagram, before uh, TikTok, before all that stuff. Like back when I was in high school, it was the most glorious time because we were all so present. Aside from Twitter, we had Twitter in high school and like that was it and Facebook. Um, but that, those were okay. Like I didn't feel so addicted to like Facebook and, and Twitter as I feel like kind of addicted to Instagram. I just want to remember how life was before I was so attached to my phone pretty much. So today we're going to do things to not be attached to my phone. We're going to deep clean like I said. And I want to have a self-care night because it's Friday. I can't remember if I mentioned that. And it's going to rain tonight. It's been raining every single day. This morning I went on my balcony. All my furniture was everywhere blown away. And I went out driving yesterday. I got my lashes refilled finally. <laughs> and um, the street lights were out. It was. It's just been crazy storming. So um, I know tonight it's going to be raining. I can't wait to stay in and read my book. Maybe watch a movie and just have a me day. So I hope you guys are excited for the vlog. We're going to have a nice, a nice Friday day in. I just got gifted these like supplements from this brand called JS Health. I was wondering if any of you guys have tried this brand before, um, but they sent over a couple of their products. This is a detox and de-bloat supplement for de-bloating. I have been actually wanting to try this product out <clears throat> from this brand for a while, so I'm really excited for that. And then I also got the metabolism and sugar support. So basically it's just to like help with your metabolism and support healthy blood sugar. I got that and then I also got the PM Sleep and Calm Mind one. It has lavender to reduce and relieve nervous tension, unrest and disturbed and restless sleep. Cause I'm really trying to stay away from like melatonin. I used to take sleeping gummies that had melatonin in them and that made you super drowsy. I'm trying to stay away from that and like take more things that like more so help to relax your muscles and your mind and calm you down. I'm gonna take these tonight before I go to bed and hopefully those will be good. But yeah, I have been having a lot of problems with um, bloating lately and I really just wanted to try this because I heard a lot of good things about it. I'm gonna put this down so I can take them. I have to take it, um, it says, for the detox and deep bloat, you take one tablet with water twice per day after meals. So that's good, I just ate my salad so i'm going to take one of these and then for the metabolism one take one tablet with water twice per day after a oh, with meals or as directed by your healthcare professional oh so i was supposed to take this with but i guess it's okay oh god my camera's crooked my camera's crooked sorry um but yeah i'm gonna try to be consistent with these for the next week next couple weeks and see if i notice any difference oh my that is a big tablet do you see that it's like bigger than my Nail. All right, oh. I'm gonna mark the day that I started to use it so I can keep track. So today's August 5th. I'm gonna put in my calendar. Started taking JS Health supplements. Okay, before I start cleaning, I have one more thing to show you guys. I keep putting it off because I keep getting packages. I started Paul shopping, like I mentioned in my previous vlog. And one of the places, I shopped at was Nordstrom because I really love Topshop. So we got some fall clothes from Topshop slash Nordstrom. Okay, bomber jackets are coming back in style. They were all the rage back in like 2014, 15, 16. I had like 20 bomber jackets. I wish I kept them. I just don't understand how some of these trends come back and like who decides that bomber jackets are back in style? Who makes these decisions? So anyway, 
Um, I picked up this brown oversized one and I get a lot of my fashion inspo from Pinterest and I saw a few outfits of these brown bomber jackets, specifically Kendall Jenner. Yeah, she wore this with like a hoodie in the fall and it was so cute. So I wanted to pick this up and well, it doesn't look good now because I'm wearing a t-shirt with it. Oh my God, this reminds me of like a jacket my dad used to have in the 90s. Like I can't believe this is back in style. This is a kind of like button up shirt situation, a short sleeve. I wanted to wear this with like a, um, like a crop top underneath for kind of like a summer to fall transition piece. Um, it, this is not going to look good right now because I'm not wearing the appropriate. I look like I'm in a boy band. Oh my God. Every time I try clothes on that I just get, I need to try it on with an actual outfit and hairstyle that I know I'm going to wear it with. Otherwise, I just think it looks ugly, but it fits good. But yeah, I want to wear this with like a black bandeau top or a black bralette or crop top with some high-waisted jeans for kind of cool, effortless look like that. And then last thing, I actually ordered one more thing, but I think it's coming separately. I ordered a leather moto jacket too, but um, last thing in this package is this top. I thought it was so cute for fall. It is so 2000s. Um, I love it. So it's like a button up and it's like amber and brown colored, kind of yellowish. Look at these tones this is perfect for autumn i want to wear this with these um pants that i got from asos i placed another asos order because i'm really loving their hourglass line it's kind of like the abercrombie um curve curve love line so they make pants and bottoms that are like smaller in the waist bigger in the butt and thigh area so that's why um i ordered more because i got my slip skirt from that line and i loved it it fit so good it made me feel so good when i wore it so I picked up a few more jeans and pants from that line and I got a pair that are like kind of leather lace up. I thought this shirt with those pants would be the perfect, perfect like 2000s retro fall outfit. So that's all I got from Nordstrom today. I did also want to show you guys some things I got from Mango and Mango was having a sale. Well, I don't know if the sale is still going on, but when I purchased this, I got such a discount on every single thing I got. Everything was on sale and they had a lot of like nice winter and fall things on sale too. So for example, these boots I got from Mango. I love the square toe. I don't have any boots like this and I've always wanted like a square toe like that. I think it's such a really chic look. So these originally were 200 and I think I got these for 89. I also got this fur coat. How bougie is this? I love my furs for the winter. I probably won't be wearing this for a few more months but I just wanted to pick it up now because it was on sale. Originally it was 200 and I think I got it for 99. So for like 50% off and it's kind of like a midi length, like it goes past my butt to my thighs and I love the color of it. And this, you know, is not real obviously, but I don't like to wear real furs or leather. Um, so yeah, got that. And then I also got this trench coat, which I think is the best deal that I got from the mango sale because this originally was $249. I got this for $89. That's like, what is it like 60% off something around that. Um, so it's a long trench coat and it has these shoulder pads here. I think they're so chic. I put it on. I looked like a little chic detective. I looked like Carmen San Diego. So I wanted like a good quality trench coat because I have a couple trench coats that are really cheap. So I wanted to get a higher quality trench coat and this feels like way higher quality. I was thinking about getting a London Fog one because I like that brand. Um, I was thinking about getting a Burberry one too. But I saw the price of this one when I was doing my research online and that's kind of what triggered me to make this mango purchase. So I love this and I got one other thing. I got, surprise, surprise, another one to add to my collection. Another one that I don't need. But I got this linen button up shirt because this was also on sale. Um, I think in total I saved like $400 to $500. It has these like stripes on it. It's a bit sheer. Um, but I think shirts like this are so effortless. You can wear it. So many different ways. So that's all I got from Mango. I don't know if I want to do like a huge collective fall haul, like do it all in one video, or if I'll just show them in the vlogs and then do like a fall lookbook where I style all these things that I show in the vlogs. Okay, now I need to seriously clean up and start cleaning.
Sorry, baby. Sorry. <laughs> Okay guys, the home is clean. I feel great. I am very happy. I'm gonna enjoy my Friday night now. I'm gonna make some dinner. I have a Tobala meal. Oh, and by the way, it didn't storm. I don't know if it's coming. It was supposed to thunderstorm. Like it got all like cloudy and and like stormy looking in the sky, but stormy looking. Did you guys did you guys catch my reference? Stormy baby. If you know, you know. Um yeah, so I don't know. Maybe it'll rain later, but that's no problem. I'm gonna make a tovala meal. It's salmon and broccoli. In case you missed the vlogs that I talked about this oven, uh, this is my Tobala Smart oven. 
they are like pre-cooked meals that you can get delivered to your door it's a meal delivery service and they're fully prepared and they come fresh they don't come frozen which is what i like about it and it has all the prep instructions and you just pop it in the oven and you press scan and you scan the barcode on it and it cooks for you so this is teriyaki glazed salmon with a side of broccoli it looks so good i'm very hungry and i've actually been craving salmon i might still have a code for tavala because i worked with them actually so maybe i'll check on that and i'll link in the description if you want to get a discount on the on the smart oven <laughs> Here's how the meal turned out. Gotta add a little bit of sriracha, of course. Sorry, sweetie. This looks and smells so good. Sorry about what I said. Um, it was it was insensitive of me to say that you were just a cat. guys hopefully the lighting is not too dark but I'm getting ready for bed I'm going to sleep now I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog so I'm gonna end it here thank you so much for watching I will catch you guys in my next one